here and I'm back with another video. Today I actually thought I would share my Notion setup because I've been using Notion for the last year for work and I love it. Mine's fairly basic but it works really well for me. So I will show you how I've set up my life in some ways that helps me be a little bit more productive and feel organized. So I use Notion in a personal way to organize all different aspects of my life, as you can see down this navigation. For those who don't know, Notion is basically this free software tool, which is essentially like a big scratch pad or like a notepad where you can just like journal all the things that are ongoing in your life and then split them up into different containers and spaces. So it is a really great way to organize your thoughts i suppose and all the different like moving parts in your life especially as i find when we grow up just like there's so many more things to think about that i don't know how anyone just keeps it in their brain i am not sponsored by notion in any way i just have found it really helpful for my type a like very structured personality to have things down. Let's go through some of the things that I've got here. As you can see, like the overarching theme that I do have in Notion is very like old school anime, spirited away, Ghibli-esque. My homepage is split into work, life, and then YouTube. It is fairly simple. Home is basically like my headquarters for everything. So let's dive into some of this stuff. Ah, so juicy. One thing to note is I know lots of people like to do kind of fancy things on their Notion like habit tracking or like a calendar. I don't find it that useful for me because I don't keep up with it so it just becomes outdated and I've like set it up for nothing really. So uh, that's a big reason why I've kept it just like really simple. The first thing that I have here and I'm going to have to hide most of this unfortunately but this is my sprint tracker and this is mainly related to work. Uh, I'm currently a product manager in tech, but essentially this board helps me figure out whatever I need to work on each week, each day. Being a product manager means that there's a lot going on at all times. You're like juggling five different work streams. So it is really helpful for me to figure out what exactly do I need to focus on right now. Within software, teams will run in these things called sprints. And essentially it's just kind of blocks of incremented time. Like every two weeks is a sprint and you have a goal that you achieve by the end of that. And then like the things that you work on focus on that goal. And, and so I run like weekly sprints and um, at the beginning of every week on a Monday, I will figure out like what are the key focus areas for myself in this notion. I will update the goals that I have to achieve by the end of the week. Um, I've got a backlog, which is like all the things that I should do, like my never ending to-do list basically. Planned is everything that I want to do in the sprint or like in the week. And these are directly related to the goals that I set. In progress is usually what I focus on in a day. And you can see here, I put the max three because I don't think anyone should focus on more than like three things at a time. Otherwise that's just almost like way too much for you to think about. And then I've got things that I need to spar or resolve. So these may be open questions or things that I've worked on, but I want to get feedback from a group of people. And then I've got waiting on design because I work with designers and engineers and I work really closely with my designer to kind of conceptualize new features and things like that. So sometimes uh, once I have finished maybe a spec, I will hand it off to my designer. Luckily for me, my designer is great. And at the moment I have nothing in this column. Then I have things that are paused. So not actively working on at the moment. And then everything that is done. At the beginning of the week with this sprint tracker, I'll check my goals. And then anything that's been left in the planned column from the last sprint, I'll just kind of reprioritize, pull things out, pull new things in. And then next, menu item that I have is product. So obviously being a product manager, I need to be very close to our product. This is um, more of an idea for me as a PM of like what key work streams I'm focusing on at the moment. And again, this is like maybe one level abstracted from the sprint tracker. So I've got like what's coming up in terms of big things that I need to start thinking about. I've got things that are in discovery at the moment. I have work that's in progress. So usually like um, engineers are working on it already. I have things that are parked, shipped, and also kind of like product related things that I may be contributing to, but not actively like leading. 
And uh, you can see down here, product related things, I have like the big questions. I've also got product sparring notes. So these are kind of more ad hoc sparring. And sparring is essentially when I get in a room with like someone else and we, no, um, we like just kind of go back and forth in terms of bouncing ideas on a problem or like a feature or something like that. I've also got presentation like scripts here because as part of being a product manager, being a good communicator is really important. And that means that I'm doing a bunch of presentations or trying to find opportunities a lot to do so. And so when I do those presentations, I like to prepare a lot. And then other content is just like, if I don't know where to fit anything else and I'm just like writing notes on stuff, then I may have like other content just like in pages here. Customers was really important to me earlier on because I was building the early access program for our new product. And so here I just used to keep like all of the content resources that we had that we could send out to customers, processes that I had documented for myself usually. And then down here, a bunch of kind of interview notes. And then other work related things I've broken down into initiatives. So things that aren't directly related to product, but things that I'm doing at work. So team shirts, different ideas that I've got, blog ideas. And yeah, then down here, I've got like innovative thinking, which is not necessarily always related to work at the company I'm at, but like just things that I'm working on. So an example is like made by Linny store plan, because there was a period of time where I was sewing a lot and I was thinking about starting like a commission based store and I created like this whole plan, but then I have since put that on pause a little bit because I realized I do really like sewing for myself <laughs> and for friends, but having to kind of sew for other people meant that it was taking me a lot of time and effort and not like a huge return because I didn't want to charge people that much either. <laughs> and then down the bottom, I've got some other notes. These notes are just like when I'm exploring other roles in my career, I think it's really healthy and important to always be thinking about like what else is there in the market and having those conversations. So I kind of document all of that practice down here as well. The next tab I've got in my notion is called learnings and growth. And I really like this tab because it's all about kind of self development and reflection. So for example, the top thing that I've got here is my values. I did do a values sorting activity, uh, which I'll try find a link to and share in the description below. But I think it's such a great activity to do to understand yourself better and how do you actually live by your values for a happier life. And so I tried to revisit this. I also have daily reminders here. These are a lot more product related and yeah, things to come back to when I feel really overwhelmed or confused about a problem. I've also got knowledge, like uh, feedback that I've heard over time or like craft learnings. And then down the bottom, I've got a growth journal, a growth plan. As you can see, I don't really have a plan at the moment, which um, I'm working on that. And then down the bottom here, I have my one-on-one -on -one meeting notes. I'm actually a big fan of planning an agenda beforehand and writing notes for all the meetings that I have. And these are the ones that are typically more recurring because I work with these people really closely on a day-to-day -day basis. And so within each of them, like everyone gets their own little emoji that represents them. And within each of these, I basically just have like a running page with date, then dot points of what I want to speak with them about. So that is actually the last tab related to work in my Notion space. And then everything else is more around life, which is quite exciting. So let me show you my life related pages. So the first one that I have here is food. In terms of food, ever since we moved out, Lucas and I have been trying to figure out like how do we best optimize our grocery shopping and organize what we're going to eat on a week by week basis. As you can see down here, what I've done is a this week view of what we're going to eat for lunch and dinner so that I can then plan what we need to go out and buy when we do our grocery shop. Below that is a big table of recipes um, and links to things that we like to eat. And so I can come down here when I am planning out my week 
to figure out what haven't we eaten or like what are we craving and so I'll just like pull those into this table. And then I've got my sewing projects because I love sewing. I need to be a lot more intentional in terms of what it is I decide to work on and figure out like what exactly are the materials that I want to buy in order to work on those projects rather than the other way around which is like buying as much fabric as I can and then using that to make anything and everything and then this is just a list of like books or things that I've seen that I would love to buy because they have like really great patterns and things that kind of fit my style you can see like lots of layers baggy clothes linens those types of things um, the next one that I've got is my reading list and to be honest I really haven't kept up with this at all so far. In my book list this year I only, so it's not that I only read two books, it's more like I only documented the two books that I had read in January which was The House in the Cerulean Sea and How to Make Friends and Influence People. So both of those were good books. Again another tab for a hobby that I really do love. Unfortunately, this is another one where I just do not look back on it all. But basically, this was the track Lucas and my training development uh, when it came to like distance running, sprint training, skills for Oztag around like passing, kicking, all those sorts of things. But yeah, we don't, I don't use this page. And then I have other life things, things like home buying, holidays I had planned for 2021, Christmas gifts uh, in 2022. I had this desire to go to Japan, which you may have heard me talk about before, and work there for a little bit. So January was my birthday month, and so I had all these plans around like the week of what I wanted to do and the people that I wanted to catch up with. And then I've got this thing called like the mediocre bucket list here, which is essentially just like things to do that I've seen on social media. I'm building this out at the moment still. So if you have any suggestions on what I should add to this mediocre bucket list, then please do let me know. The next tab that I have is called Last Time I. And this one's a bit personal, I guess, but I track a lot of things here where it's very easy to forget the last time it happened. So examples of that being like my period, um, just so I can get a better understanding of like what my cycle is but that's not the only thing I track here I also track like last time I may have gone to the dentist or got an x-rays at the dentist or like gone to the doctor for a checkup all those sorts of things I will also track in here and then the last page that I have is content and it's related to all of my Hayliny things so again I won't show you the specifics but I've got a bunch of ideas here on things that I want to make videos. I've got collaboration content, which at the moment I don't have anything in there. So if anyone wants to sponsor me, um, I have my next up. I have a secret project here, which I'm not going to talk about. And then I have my posted videos. So it helps me with my workflows definitely in terms of creating content and figuring out like what to make next. So that's a really quick peek of my Notion space. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. It's pretty simple. I don't do that much with it. It's mainly just a breakdown of all the things in my life, but I find it super, super helpful to always have open. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you want to see next time. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends, and I will see you all next time. Bye.